Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tara T. I do crochet and I do market day vlogs and all kinds of things here on this channel. So welcome back or welcome in. I'm just here to do a pattern review with you guys today. So I'm going to be talking about five different patterns I've tried recently and absolutely loved. Give you some ratings on them, what I liked about the patterns, what I didn't like, about how long it took, and where I got the patterns so you guys can find the same ones and work on something new lately. I know that this past week in my past vlog, I talked about how I had struggled a little bit to stay motivated and I kept like feeling uninspired by all of these patterns, even though I had a ton of patterns. So I bought quite a few ones, quite a few new ones in the last two weeks. So I just wanted to recap what all of those are and go over them with you guys and share them with you. That way you'll have some new inspo to work on for your markets. If you see the tape on my arm also, please ignore this. Um, I went a little crazy crocheting lately and I'm having some like wrist problems and some arm problems in general. So I've got it taped up and it's really helping honestly. Highly recommend looking up how to tape up your arm for um, crochet injuries and tennis elbow and um, like a sprained wrist is kind of what I combined to do this for. And honestly, it's already been helping and I've only had it on for a couple hours. It just helps alleviate some of the inflammation and how hard like your muscles are working with this KT tape. Um, and it's really, really helping. So I'm going to keep it on while I do my video because it lasts a couple days and I just put it on today. So I didn't want to take it off and I forgot to film my video before I took it off. So we're going to recap on patterns now, but like I said, just ignore that, please. <laughs> The first pattern that I wanted to talk about is this baby froggy. This pattern is by Madeline Mako on Etsy. It has beautiful eyes that they match up with it. It's with the Burnett Sparkle yarn. So it's a little bit rougher um, than the regular like baby blanket and blanket yarns as well. But this pattern was so much fun, so easy to make. It's a very good medium sized project for my categories to make. And it's super adorable. She also had um, like some of her testers put like little embroidery faces on it, like a little smile, which was also super adorable too. And I would highly recommend doing that. I feel like it needed something else and I either wanted to put blush or a little smile on him really quickly. The pattern itself only took about an hour and a half total, I believe, because you do have to make the ear or the eye parts, the arms, and then the feet. Um the feet in the body itself you crochet together you sew these on after which is actually really nice that way you know that your eye placement is also perfect and i really liked that about this pattern it like i said didn't take very long i'm gonna charge 25 for this guy i know that my mom also makes these guys and was the one that told me about this pattern and i will always be a supporter of madeline mako's patterns because she's amazing she has such cute little animals um, and easy to do patterns. She has like a whole safari pack that I've been trying to like make all of them out of that book or that pack I should say. I have them all printed out and in a binder and everything for proof that I really do like love her patterns and so this guy was the perfect little addition. I did tag him and took him to my last market but as you know our last market was terrible. Um, you can go watch the video on that market day disaster if you want to. It was a hot mess and so he didn't really get the chance to sell yet but I do have a market next weekend where I will be trying him out and seeing how well he does. So I do have a market on the night. is that the 19th? I think it's the 18th I believe this coming Saturday <laughs> and so he will be going there with me. We'll see how good he does. Again perfect medium size item super easy to do super easy to read pattern as well which is always very helpful when it comes to patterns the next pattern i have for you guys is camille the sitting cow i've showed this little guy off multiple times i need to make another one honestly because it was so much fun to make again this is camille the sitting cow it is a pattern by jen crafty creations on etsy the pattern was 562, which was not bad at all for me. He's so cute. 
um i hadn't seen a pattern like this with the animals like sitting down like this in this little like squatted position so i thought it was super adorable and a super great pattern to try out again i used some really cute eyes on this guy as well i got some opaly eyes that i tried out and i loved these eyes as well um she has a really unique way to do the color changes on the hooves to make the color change super like smooth as well and she talks about it in her pattern and i'm pretty sure if i remember like right she had a link that i could go follow to that was like a little video that walked you through it a little bit more and so this was a really unique way to do the color changes and i really liked how those turned out um you made the feet and the arms the nose, the ears, and the horns. So there was several parts that had to be sewn on. You actually um, make all the parts and then you sew the body, just this part and the head together. And then you go back and you put everything else on. I went ahead and sewed the ears into the round since I knew where they were at. And I can't remember if the pattern said that or not. Um, and then, then obviously you sew on the nose, the horns, and the legs after. The legs as well, you do sew them up here right below the where the head starts. Actually, right where the head starts. And then you can pull your needle through and tack down the legs. So these front legs, or arms I should say, are technically tacked down. So they won't like flop straight out at you either. Which is a really cool effect for this pattern. I loved where the color changes were and the pattern was super easy to read when it came to those because sometimes I know that like it's really hard to read through a pattern and then you miss color changes that you were supposed to hit but she explained it very well in all of her patterns and all of her pages. The pattern itself looks adorable too whenever you go to download it. Um, I also had only made like one or two other patterns where you make the inside color of the ear and then you make the outside color and you sew them together. This was really unique as well and I loved how it turns out, especially on this pattern. There's some patterns like this that I'll try and I'm like, well, you could have done it a different way or embroidered like one little line in the middle because it's like literally only a couple stitches and then you do like the outside ear color. Um, but she did it very perfectly the way that she did it. And I really liked how she did her whole pattern. And there's also a tiny little tail back here, which I love that little detail for this little guy. Um, I'm selling these for 45 with the specialty eye eyes, of course. Um, my mom's brought them to a couple markets. They're a very great attention grabber. We have some other small cows and cow themed items and stuff that we like to put together. And these get tons of attention. Um, it's the first one I've made, obviously, and like I said, last market wasn't great, so we'll have to see, like, marketability-wise how this guy will do, but I think for 45 honestly, that's a very fair price. I think it took about, uh, two hours and about 20 minutes to make one start to finish. It was also my first time running through the pattern, though, um, so it could probably get down to like two hours honestly it's just a lot of parts to prep and make and this was in sweet snuggles light so he is smaller if i made him in burnout i can't imagine how much bigger he would honestly be because i use like two and a half sizes smaller for my sweet snuggles light anyways so yeah he would definitely be much bigger and you could probably charge another 10 or 15 for that i just don't think that that um that price does as well for me. So I just went a little bit smaller on this guy. So we'll just take him to the next couple markets and see how he does. Um, and in the meantime, I definitely need to make one out of burnout so I can compare that for you guys. This pattern was also 562 total, which was not bad at all. Um, I got a deal on it. I think there was like some kind of deal happening in her shop at the time too. So that was not bad at all for me which I really did like as well. <laughs> the next pattern we have is a new elephant pattern that I decided to try by Coffee and Crochet 01 on Etsy. This pattern was pretty stinking adorable if I, if I do say so myself. Um, it is just this cutest little tiny elephant. 
Uh, I, I did not know what to use this yarn for and it just gives me like elephant and yeti vibes so it's kind of hard to tell what it is since it is such a small animal and it's variegated so it's a little hard to do or hard to tell what it is. So I tried it also in my posh yarn to make him teeny teeny tiny and he's very very adorable. But this is Ellie the Elephant is what it's called and it's just so tiny. This pattern was a little bit harder to follow for me personally. You have to make all of the feet and then you connect them. And the way that you connect them is a little bit confusing for me, um, personally at least. She does have lots of pictures and tips and suggestions on how to do it all on the pattern itself, which is super, super helpful. Um, it just still was confusing for me because I just personally don't like to do a lot of patterns that have the four legs and connect up. I always feel like they just look a little messy for me and a little sloppy for me, but that's on me, not the pattern obviously, because she does have, like I said, lots of tips and stuff on the pattern on how to actually do it. So these cute little guys, I decided to do 15 for, and I decided to do 20 on the bigger one because it does take so much time. You do make all of the feet and then you sew up and the tail is worked into the round as well. And then you go back and you make the whole head and then you make the two ears, you sew on the two ears and then you sew on the head to the body and then you're done. So it's really not that much sewing, but it is um, a little time consuming to sew the pieces on to the body to line them up perfectly. Um, I had a lot of troubles with, I feel like, making sure the ears were perfectly lined up on this bigger one. And I still feel like on both of them, my heads are kind of cockeyed, but I think they're really cute like that. I just think they're a little, a little sideways, you know? The only other downfall to this pattern, too, is it didn't say to stuff the head lightly, at least not that I saw on there. And so I stuffed the head fully, not really thinking about it. And so every time I put him on a table, he kind of falls forward sometimes, especially the little guy. Like he just does not want to stay up like at all. And so I've been like trying to like perfectly balance, like push their head back or their ears back a little bit more um, to help balance them out a little bit. And I think I finally got him to a spot where they'll both stand up finally. They're standing on my desk, luckily. Um, but they are a super cute little pattern. Somebody also mentioned that there's one pretty similar to it on Instagram that's free, but I have not tried that one yet. Again, this one's from Coffee and Crochet. It was supposed to be $3.27 and I got it on sale for $2.29. So she was running a sale in her shop earlier last week too, I think. I don't know if that's still going on, but I recommend this pattern because look how adorable they are. I need to make some more of them in the burnout color, I feel like. if I feel like if I had a couple of them out on the table together, they would work really well. Um, 20 is what I have to charge to get my time and my supplies out of it, though. And that feels a little high, I'm not going to lie. So we'll see how they sell. Next, we have personally my favorite pattern out of this whole video. And this is the cute little Easter Bunny pattern. This seems like such a random thing to be making after Easter Day, but these cute little bunnies are so stinking adorable. And I have brought bunnies to the last couple markets and they seem to be doing pretty well or people talk about bunny rabbits for some reason around me. And so I was like, I'm just gonna find another pattern that I like a little bit more maybe and try that out. And so I found this cute little bunny pattern. So this pattern is by the crochet code AU on Etsy. The pattern itself was supposed to be 538 and I got it on sale for 215, which is a steal if I might add. <laughs> but these little lop-eared bunnies, you start by making the body and it has bobble stitches for the legs, so you don't have to worry about that, which I love. And so you start by making the entire body and then you make the ears and you sew them into the head as you're working. And then you go back and I surface crochet on the little loops of the tail and it comes out so stinking cute. I think without the tail or if the tail was like a bobble stitch or something, it wouldn't have the same effect. But since you just like go back and surface crochet on his little tail, it turns out so stinking cute. And on that one I used, so this was dabbled yarn and then I went back with the new marbly gray um, 
Burnett yarn and so it has a little bit more white in it but it kind of matches so it gives it a little pop of something there and then I made one in the Dreamland cover story yarn and this one's also super stinking adorable um again obviously it's worked up the same exact way and then I surface crocheted on the tail this was the very last of this yarn I had guys okay I need to order some more I know I've got a whole cart full of yarn just waiting to be paid for waiting for a yarn sale okay but I also mixed in a little bit of a light pink of the burnout color because this was literally the last of the yarn that I had and usually before I move on to the head I go ahead and do the tail before I forget and this time I did not. This time I went ahead and I did the head and the ears and everything and finished. I literally had like a string that was like this long and that's all I have left of that entire color. So I could only make two little loops of the actual body color but then I mixed in that light pink which turned out super cute though. These guys I'm going to be charging I believe 20 for these guys. They do take an hour and a half. I feel like that's totally worth it. That's about how long my loaf cats take and these have the same vibe too, especially with the bigger eyes that I chose to put on here. They're super adorable. And I did go ahead and choose to embroider little noses on these guys as well. I think they turned out super cute like that. They needed a little something on the front um, just for a little pop of color, especially on the gray one. So these guys were super adorable. I got a great deal on them. The pattern super easy to read there's one spot on i believe it's the body i think it's i think it's the body or it's where you connect the ears there's like one box colored box that has like the next row in it before the next page and i almost miss it every time because it's the only row that's like that but if you're counting numerically as you go down the pattern you will not miss it there's no chance that you'll miss it so it's just right below like round I think it's like round six on one of the two parts but I can't remember <laughs> um but it works up super easy it takes about an hour and a half charging 20 this is burnout this is dreamland and I'm thinking about making some of these in sweet snuggles light as well and maybe charging 15 for them but I don't know if 15 dollars for still the same amount of time you know like an hour and a half would be worth my money so I think I'm going to keep making them in this color or this size of yarn for now. I also have some sweet snuggles, like regular big sweet snuggles left that I kind of want to try to make something else out of. And I think some bigger bunnies would be really adorable in that too. So be on the lookout for that because I have that in the memory bank. <laughs> the next pattern is a free pattern that I found on Instagram and I thought it'd be really fun to try. I will say this pattern really tricked me though. So this pattern I saw originally on a cute little post and it was called a uh, bear and a shark cape and I was like oh that's so cute. I, let me look through the pattern let me try it. So I started scrolling through the slides on Instagram and the last slide after like the head and the body like half the body the next slide said April Fools and I was like are you kidding me like I, I was like what if I already got started like what would I have done you know and so I went to their full Instagram page and luckily they had the full pattern so I did the bear in the dinosaur onesie technically um you can do the same thing for the shark you just like only put on like one bigger spike in the pattern and it's also super adorable it is a four in one pattern so it has just the bear it has the bear in the shark cape it has the bear in the dinosaur cape and then it has the bear with the chick cape so it's like a little chicken cape and it's really adorable too i just thought that the dinosaur would be best and he turned out pretty stinking adorable so this is the little bear in the dinosaur onesie i went ahead and put eyes on it as well this pattern was honestly super easy to read i had no issues with it on instagram the only issue was there is a lot of sewing and when i say a lot of sewing i mean a lot of sewing there is sewing on the snout there is sewing on both of the legs and both the arms there is sewing a tiny little tail on the back there is sewing the two ears on and then there's sewing the entire cape as well now the pattern also says to individually sew every spike and sew those on and so 
The one thing I did change is I just surface crocheted this on along with the teeth. I surface crocheted them on because I was not going to be caught dead tying every single one of those on here. So I decided to do the dinosaur onesie as you can see and as I mentioned already. Um, I decided and I don't usually do this but it didn't say whether to it said just to put it on and I didn't want it to fall off or get lost or anything so I decided that I was going to glue it on so mine's actually glued up from this point up it's like pretty heavily glued onto the bear's head and with that I went ahead and made the ears as well because I thought it was missing something and it looks kind of like a seal in the face because the face doesn't decrease very well after I used um, Sweet Snuggles Light because it was meant to be used with velvet yarn in a very small size and so when I used Sweet Snuggles Light I figured I might lose a little bit of that shape and so like I said it doesn't have as much of like a decreased head effect and so I think that's what's making it look kind of like a seal almost um but yeah so I decided to go ahead and glue on the cape and then I sewed the ears through the cape onto the actual body as well so it's very secure on there it is a very very secure on there which i love so i surface crocheted on the spikies and the teeth this is all sweet snuggles light for a free pattern though honestly this is super adorable and looking at everybody else's that they made like for like the tester appreciation and everything theirs are also super adorable it is definitely cuter in the velvet yarn or like the like a baby bear or chanel light any of those would be extra extra cute for this and i think would turn out a little bit better shape wise you just lose a little bit of that whenever you size up in your yarn like i did here but it is super adorable and would recommend for you guys to try this guy out um he did take quite a while i will say that he took about two and a half hours total after sewing all the parts sewing those onto the body sewing on um, surface crocheting and color changing for the actual spikes and then color changing for the teeth and then gluing it on making sure that that was secure sewing on the ears after it was a very long assembly process but I knew that going into the project so again that's just something you should be aware of if you don't really like that as much just be aware that it is a very like structuring assembly kind of project but he turned out so cute. I'm hoping I can sell him. I hope people know what he is and don't think that he looks like a seal like I think he looks like. <laughs> so again, that's what I've been working on for about the last two weeks because I've been in pain over here. So I've been just researching more patterns too. I have quite a few more patterns saved in both my Etsy and on Instagram to hopefully review as well for you guys soon. If there's anything I missed in there, please comment down below and let me know. If you have any questions about the patterns, please let me know. I will try to remember to link them in the description as well. That way you guys will have quick and easy access to all of these patterns since I do recommend them. And most of them do have Etsy sales going on right now. So I would check that out and hopefully that they're still active by the time that you're viewing this video. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's not heavy crochet related, but again, I'm injured. <laughs> <laughs> so I will catch you guys next time. I appreciate you guys watching as always and I hope you have a great week and if you need me you know where to find me and I will see you later. Bye!